Two years, two floods, and thoughts of moving out. A Wasika woman rents her place. It is surrounded by water. Channel 5's Angela Vargas found an option people can turn to. Well, this is FEMA's interactive flood zone map, including the valley. It will tell you if areas have high, medium, or low risk of flooding. The area we went to today is not on this map, but homeowners say it should be. Just a couple of swipes bring the memories flooding back to normal Rodriguez. We were stranded here and it was pretty, it was pretty stressful not being able to go out as usual. Rodriguez has lived through two floods in the Las Brisas subdivision, moved once and now renting a home. What have you learned so far in all this? <laughs> Honestly, to move out. <laughs> These pictures show how much her street changed in just two days. And it's left her thinking about leaving the neighborhood. Next step is research where I'm going to be moving to and take it from there more than anything. Research, no flooding zones, hopefully. <laughs> we took a closer look at FEMA's flood zone map. Homeowners or renters like Rodriguez can use this interactive map to identify high-risk flooding areas. In each of those areas, the map highlights a zone letter explaining the level of risk associated. See, we didn't know about that. So till right now that you're telling me about it, so I'm going to start researching through there and see if I can find something better. We looked up Rodriguez's neighborhood. Right now, the map shows there is no digital data available. Rodriguez hopes they update their site. FEMA explains flood maps may change or be revised over time. If you want to report an unknown area, they also have map specialists for any questions. We will have their contact information on our website at krgv.com after the newscast. In the Channel 5 News Studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6.